Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our NFL Week 15 preview between the San Francisco 49ers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the 49ers. This week versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the San Francisco 49ers will see a lot of cover too, which is a zone. And I'm going to show you how they can defeat the zone. One way is by flooding the zone. I'm going to show you how they can do that out of empty. And that's the unique part of having a guy in the pocket like Colin Kaepernick that has mobility. He has the athleticism to hold linebackers in their area and create opportunities for people out there on the outside. Vernon Davis is right here on the line of scrimmage. Now what we're going to do, we're going to fake motion, try to flood the zone to the weak side, to create opportunities for Vernon Davis to be one-on-one -on -one with the safety. So we're gonna bring this guy in motion. And as he's as we the cadence starts to wind down, he's gonna to start to shoot across the field. And his job is to attack the flat. That's your flat defender to hold this guy here in his area. So you're attacking his zone with a flat defender. Now we have the guy on the, the split end. His job is to work up and out to the corner. Hopefully trying to draw this safety here. We have the slot guy now working outside shoulder of the linebacker trying to attack the inside shoulder of the safety so it's putting that safety in a bind he's going to have to make a decision this is a two-on-one and this is a bad decision for the safety either way he goes he's going to make a wrong choice but you're attacking the the zone over here you're flooding the zone with three receivers and two defenders so now on the strong side what we're going to do with the tight end we're trying to work him in the middle of the field get him one-on-one -on -one with the safety he's going to stem out and up Big hole, big void right here, big opportunity for Vernon Davis one-on-one -on -one with the safety, and this guy is, again, going to the corner, hopefully drawing this drifting corner, and you, again, putting the safety in a bind. Two-on-one go is how you can beat the zone, but also flooding the zone, and now we've taken away a third of the field, half the field with action on, on the weak side. Really, we wanna attack strong side. We wanna get Vernon Davis on a safety. This is how we can get it done, and this is how they can attack the cover two zone of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which could generate a big play in the passing game for the 49ers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will have to get the running game going this week versus San Francisco, and I'm gonna show you how they can get that done by utilizing a power toss against that 3-4 defense out of the eye formation. Here's what we have, a tight eye set, trying to get everything bunched up on the strong side, but really what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull a backside guard, we're gonna have the fullback kick out this linebacker. So again, fullback kicking out the linebacker here, so he's gonna come in, boom, kicking him out. We're gonna have the tight, the, the receiver that's tight to the line of scrimmage. His job is to work up and not crack on this outside backer. We have the fullback here cracking on the outside backer, kicking him out. We're gonna have this guy work up and block this backer that's gonna try to float to the football. So boom, we have that taken care of. Combo block this five technique here. Tight end, tackle, taking care of the five technique, creating a nice little lane for the running back on the, on the toss. Now we're gonna have the guard, play side guard, work up and get the inside linebacker to the weak side. Job right here on the backside tackles to block this fire technique. Center is gonna block the nose. Quarterback is gonna reverse out. Quick toss, power toss, giving the running back an opportunity to read where he wants to go. But nine times out of 10, he's gonna follow his guard who's gonna lead him up and take care of that strong safety. And this is where he can go here and hopefully making this guy miss and run into daylight. The cornerback is gonna be outside the play because it's going inside because we're trying to wash down this five technique kicking out this linebacker, creating the hole right here for the running back. And if Bobby Randy can make him miss, it could be a big play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a running game. And that's how they can knock off San Francisco. They have to be balanced. They have to get the ground game going. And if they can do so with this power toss, it could generate a huge play on the ground. Now here are some in-game adjustments that you want to watch for in this ball game for San Francisco. How they utilize Amar Brooks versus the running game of Tampa Bay. Do they allow him to put his hand in the dirt and be that contained defender and try to seal the edge? Or do they allow him to be much more aggressive in different run blitz type of situations? And you also want to keep an eye on how they protect Colin Kaepernick versus that very talented defensive line of Tampa. Do they move the pocket for him or will they slide protect to one side or even keep a guy in as far as max protection is concerned, but they have to keep him well protected in the pocket. And that's something that you definitely want to look out for throughout the course of this game. And on defense, will they stay with the two deep safety look or will they tilt coverage toward Vincent Jackson in an attempt to try to take him away and force Mike Glennon to go to other targets? And for Tampa Bay, you want to keep an eye on how they're able to utilize their formations to beat the blitz of San Francisco. You might see a little bit more bunched than usual, maybe some double tight ace sets 
many different ways they can utilize formations to beat the blitz of the 49ers. And you also want to keep an eye on the spy guy and who that guy may be versus Colin Kaepernick. Remember, you have to keep a guy designated for this mobile quarterback, otherwise he can gash you on the ground. And I would also keep an eye on offensive coordinator Mike Sullivan's second half play calling. Remember, football is a game of adjustments and what adjustments can be made in the second half to help this Bucks offense have success versus this very stingy 49er defense. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ballgame for San Francisco. When you're facing a cover two defense, there's going to be natural voids deep down the middle of the field and in between the corner and the safety. It's up to Colin Kaepernick to be accurate with his bucket throws this week if they want to have success throwing the football. And I would also zone blitz to Vincent Jackson's side, taking away Mike Lennon's number one target and forcing him to go elsewhere with the football. And you have to spread the field. The 49ers now have the healthy personnel where their base formation can be a three wide receiver set with a tight end so they can widen out that cover too and still be able to run the football inside with their power game. And for Tampa Bay, you want to run at Alden Smith. You want to take their top pass rusher and make him a run defender. See how well he can stop the run and see how much he wants to stop the run by running at him all day long. And I would also keep the tight end off the line of scrimmage. That would give you better blocking angles by putting him in motion. You can wham him inside or maybe utilize him to seal the edge or crack on the outside linebacker. And then the passing game allows him free release off the line of scrimmage and be that built-in hot read for Mike Glennon. And whether you're in zone or man, you want to show press pre-snap at the line of scrimmage. You want to throw off the timing of that 49ers passing game and get Colin Kaepernick to hold the football just a little bit too long so that way your defensive line can get pressure and hopefully get him on the ground. And the X-Factor for San Francisco will be their defensive line. We know the Bucs want to come into this ball game and establish a running game, so it's up to that defensive line to set the tone and allow those linebackers free range to the football to slow down the ground game at or behind the line of scrimmage. And the biggest X-Factor for Tampa Bay will be beating the Blitz. They're going to see a lot of pressure this weekend from San Francisco, and if they're able to move the football and consistently beat the Blitz, they can knock off the 49ers at home. I like San Francisco in this ballgame. Their defense right now is playing very stout, and their offense is starting to become a little bit more balanced, which is a good thing moving forward. So I think they go on the road and knock off Tampa Bay, who will be a game opponent, but the 49ers will ultimately pull away in this one. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to 49er fan forums and Buccaneer fan forums for always showing football game plan support.